What's good? I am putting May and June together because I didn't have enough favorites from each month to make separate favorites videos for each month. So, okay, I'm putting it together. Okay. Anyway, you should tap that. That was a really horrible choice of word. You should click on that subscribe button. May, June favorites. Hey, yo, let's get it. So, the first thing that I've really been loving in these two months is the Glossier Halo Scope highlighters. I literally made an entire review video about this, so I'm not really going to get that much into it. If you would like to have more information on this and what I think about it, you can click right here. Okay. Next, I tried out the Glossier. This video isn't sponsored, by the way. <laughs> Oh, it's just I really really like this brand. Anyway, I ordered the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser because I wanted to replace the high pH foaming cleanser that I had. I mentioned that cleanser in the products I regret buying video that I made and um, it like made me break out. It was way too harsh on my skin and I was looking for a low pH cleanser to replace it and I knew that Glossier had a cleanser. I didn't really know much about it, but after like reading up on reviews and like watching other people's videos and things like that, I decided to go ahead and order it. And so I got it and I, oh my God. First of all, I love the packaging. It's Glossier, what's new? Second of all, it has a travel friendly pump. So it's the ones where you like twist it and then like it locks so that no product will come out like when it's being transported or whatever. Third, it is low pH, which was a must have. I think this has a pH of around like 5.5 ish. If you're experiencing a breakout that won't seem to go away, um, it could very well be because you're using a high pH cleanser. I would highly recommend switching to a low pH cleanser and seeing if you'll benefit from that at all. I have a Glossier coupon code in the description box if you wanna get yourself a little discount. Like I said, this video is not sponsored and I would never claim that something is my favorite product if I don't actually love it. I keep it 100. I am a good person. In the last Korean, in my last Korean skincare haul video, I showed you guys these sheet masks by the brand called Molly. Molly. And wow, they are so good for being so cheap. These are way better than the Sephora sheet masks that cost $6 each. These were only a dollar each and you can find them even cheaper if you order them online. Anyway, my favorite flavors, flavors. My favorite types are the snail one, which contains snail mucin and the vitamin one. I don't know what vitamin it contains, but what I do know is that after I take it off my face, after soaking in it for 20 minutes, I feel so refreshed and rejuvenated and I feel forgiven of all of my sins. This is the YSL Toche Eclat Radiant Touch. I use this as an under eye concealer and I use it to highlight sometimes. Previous to this, I was using the Glossier Stretch Concealer, but ever since it started getting like hotter, like outside, it started creasing like crazy. And I think it's because I just have oily skin and products that are like cream based tend to do well for me in the winter, but in the summer, not so much. It's really, really lightweight, so it's perfect for the summertime. I was actually recommended this product by my friend Haletta, so I checked it out and fell in love. My next favorite thing is this Chloe Rollerball. My posture is so bad. And this is their signature scent. You may notice that I am holding up just the box and not the actual rollerball, and that is because it broke and shattered just like my hopes and dreams. I literally had this thing for 18 hours right before it rolled out of my makeup bag onto the bathroom counter. Not even the floor, literally the two inches it takes to fall from a makeup bag to a counter and it shattered. Like the glass was so thin, why would you even make a rollerball cylinder that thin? Like I am so, Chloe? I'm disappointed. But it smells so good, it has such a nice scent. It has like a musky floral kind of scent. It kind of feels like when millennials get old enough to be grandmas, this is the scent that we're gonna be using probably. 
And so since my rollerball broke, I think I'm just gonna go to Sephora and buy the full-sized one, I guess. I love Saks Off Fifth. It's probably one of my favorite stores. I was recently looking for a new wallet and I had a criteria for the type of wallet that I wanted. I knew that I wanted a good quality wallet that would last a long time, you know, something that's well made. I wanted a more classic style, so something that wasn't too trendy so that I wouldn't hate it in six months. I wanted something that was easy to keep clean, um, something that was beautiful and nice to look at and something that I would be proud to take out of my bag to purchase something. And I was willing to pay a lot of money for a really nice wallet. So I decided to go designer. P.S. I never buy designer full price. Like ever, never have. Not gonna say I never will, cause I probably will in the future, let's be real. But I found this gorgeous Versace collection wallet in one of the glass cases at Saks Off Fifth. It was everything that I was looking for. It fit every single one of my criteria. I used to use this like really flimsy like one side wallet thing, but um, I have upgraded my lifestyle. I am living like a bougie hoe. So this has a really, really nice like uh, black pebble finish and it has a um, gold plate that says Versace collection on it. And it kind of tilts upwards so that it's easier to open. So bougie. And it's an envelope style wallet, so it was everything I was looking for. But the thing that brought me to tears, it has these rings on the side and it came with a, a chain so that it could double as a little bag. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just feeling really blessed right now. And it fits my phone! Well, if I take off this extra ass phone case. Ah, amazing. So those were my favorites from the months of Mar March, from the month of May and June. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will catch you next time. Peace. This Sukajan style jacket from Adidas. And if you don't know what a Sukajan is, let me give you a little history lesson.